Live from the On Air Media Studios in Dallas, Texas, welcome to Sound Bites with Susan and Waylon, where we take a short extraction of our daily lives as publicists to share with you all uh, here in DFW and beyond. My name is Waylon Tate with J. Waylon and Associates. And I'm Susan Friedman of Friedman Marketing and Public Relations. Good morning. Good morning. It's Monday Happy again. Monday. Happy Monday. It was a great and exciting weekend for sure. Yes. For me, at least. Um, I'm in the process of buying a home, as I think I shared last week. And so I spent uh, a lot of time getting to know my realtor um, and it's a lot exciting. of Dallas that I didn't know. It's it is. And it's my first nerve season. Nerve-wracking, so. but it is amazing experience. And isn't it kind of fun, though, to go and look through all those homes? Yes. Uh, and learn the different neighborhoods. I'm sure you found some new neighborhoods that you exactly, weren't familiar with. Exactly. And, I, um, and I've kind of opened my reach, right? So I was very hesitant. I was like, I don't want to be any more than, you know, half a mile outside of like Oaklawn, right? Mm -hmm. Because that's my hood. But um, uh, Marcy Millard is amazing. She's my realtor, so shout out to her. Um, and she's kind mm -hmm. of expanded my horizons, right? Oh, so I've gone yes. a little bit into Lakewood. I've gone a little bit into Oak Cliff, um, a little bit into uh, Old Preston Hollow, which is really nice. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. That's exciting. What you should you? take pictures of like your top two and let our viewers decide which ones. Yes, they can buy. decide what I'm going to purchase. <laughs> okay. And then we'll You're start like, a no GoFundMe <laughs> page to help me get it. But uh, I had a busy weekend. You know, there were so there was so many wonderful events going on, and I ended up working. What? Yes, but I did have an amazing day out at Equest Texas Horse Park, yes. and um, Ram Nation was there, and around. 30 Ram truck owners went to go and volunteer at Equest at Texas Horse Park I for the day. That. It was a beautiful day, and that was a picture of CW33. They came out, thanks so much. And did a segment? They did a segment, I love yes, them. and thank you to Ram Nation. Susan, I really want to go. I want to go to Equest. Can you take me? Can we get like, yes. private pass? I want to go ride some horses. Well, we can almost Look, make that happen. Okay. We can almost. They're therapy horses, so well, it's not open for the public. Okay. We all need therapy. Done. Okay. I think the majority of people like, would agree with this me. This guy needs <laughs> therapy. Let's get him on a horse now. He's a publicist. Now. He deals yes. with a bunch of stuff. And he's all dealing with buying a house. That's so. right. That's right. So, <laughs> what else? I know horses. that there's an event coming up that we're both really excited about. Unfortunately, I don't think either of us are going to be able to go. Yes. But, um, you know, as our attachment is to media, we love media mm -hmm. personalities, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, Maria Shriver is going to be. I am so excited about this. Yes, and it's being produced by the Dallas Museum of Art um, in collaboration with KERA. Chris Boyd is going to be the moderator. Nice. Yes, and um, it is a book signing, and she has a new book out. And I think it's called I've Been Thinking, Reflection, Prayers, and Meditations for a Meaningful Life. Yeah, we were talking uh, yeah. before the show about um, Maria Shriver, and I mean, that woman has been through the ringer yeah. and still come out on top. It's like it's truly one of those and yet she persisted moments yes. because um, she's really seen it all. I mean, her attachment to the Kennedys and like just, you know, all, all kinds of trial and tribulation. But uh, I so have always thought that she's such an incredibly, you know, she's won a Peabody. Mm -hmm. um, I believe she's won an Emmy for her yep. um, uh, journalism okay. efforts. Um, I really, really wish I could go. And it's really inexpensive. I think it's um, one ticket plus a pre-signed book for mm -hmm. 45 $45 for non-members of the Dallas Museum of Art, and you can go to dma.org and look for tickets. Yeah. And it's this Tuesday. And actually, it's not going to be at the DMA. There's so many people who are going to be attending. It's going to be at Temple Emmanuel. Oh, so, nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. What else is going on this week, Susan? Um, let me see. So I'm really excited about this. There is um, some classically classical music trained Hip hop artists okay. that are performing at AT and T Performing Arts Center, and I think that's just such a unique blend. Yeah, and they're called Black Violinists, and um, I plan to go. It's going to be this Friday, and tickets are anywhere from twenty five to fifty five dollars. Okay, that's that would be. Uh, I love kind of fusion, mm -hmm. right? Where you're taking like one genre and mixing it with another. Um, I love classical music, so I think yeah. it's going to probably be. A really I do good edge. too, and I like what they're doing with it. I think it's. Uh, it's very open to and appealing to the masses. Yes. You know, and it's a good way to introduce people maybe to classical music, if you could call it that. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm 
really looking forward to uh, it. Well, maybe we'll have to join that. So we are actually going to um, uh, pop some champagne. So just so you guys know, this entire episode is going to be dedicated to <laughs> uh, to the Oscars. Yes. And, um, and you can see right here our mm. special guest that we're so excited to have, America's <laughs> sassiest lifestyle guru, Steve Kemble is here. In the flesh. Yes. Yeah, I'm so excited I'm to so be excited here. To so uh, we're going to pop some champagne, go to a quick commercial break, and then um, we'll be back to talk about all things, and hopefully I don't blow one of our heads off with this Are we going to keep this live? Yeah, like this. Oh I know. I'm going to keep uh, Okay. So now what do I do, Susan? Do I? You take this? Oh. You have to take that. There you go. Oh, my gosh. Look. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Good job. We'll be right back after this short break from Crudo Vodka. Welcome back. We're still pouring the champagne. Yeah. Uh, we're clearly going to be feeling really good by the end of the show. But um, thank you so much for joining us, Steve. Yes, I'm so thank excited you. to be here. I know. I love your show. Well, we Thanks. love you, and we've been trying to get Steve on the show for a while. He's so busy. I know. He's um, been up since four this morning. Yes. Making his rounds. We're the final leg of his <laughs> tour. Yeah, I love it. Thank you for being here today. Yes. So we got to watch the Oscars. That's probably your favorite holiday. Oh my gosh! It's the Super. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. it. I think it's. I thought it was fabulous. What did you think overall? Well, I was. I'll say I was overwhelmed and underwhelmed in different yes. ways. So I was overwhelmed by the amount of incredible female empowerment that was presented, mm -hmm. um, and I was really excited with a lot of the winners. I was underwhelmed as. Obviously, uh, you are an expert in this field by some of the garb. Yeah, like I was yeah. really. Um, I, it was I can't wait to hear. It was right. I think tame. everybody. Yeah, played it safe. Mm -hmm. I think that they were playing it well, really safe. You know. Except for the plunging neckline. Oh yeah. There were a lot. Yes, lots of tape last night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, I thought it was like, and I think the whole show kind of played it safe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I think they were a little bit fearful. It went on a little long. I don't Did. think it was like. Till it was what three hours, three hours. and stuff. It was like yeah. it was. But, but I long. thought one of the cutest moments was when Jimmy Kimmel in the opening monologue did the jet ski thing. Yes, yes. that was. And then was Helen really, Mirren was the I, model. Oh, that I was mean, fabulous. <laughs> was she was riding she out at the end. Too. Oh, she yeah. looked fabulous in Remax for that I, blue. I like, Who is that? Because I didn't recognize. I just it. love her. I mean, she actually even they actually, actually camera actually caught her. Also taking a tequila shot on the red carpet. I, I was like, it. I love it. I love it. I'm sure that was a sponsor. <laughs> She's going to be at my dinner yeah. party. <laughs> yeah, she is so yeah. fabulous. Oh, cheers. Yes, cheers. Oh, cheers. Because cheers. we can't everyone. drink until we cheer, so let's 90th, get this cheers over with. To the 90th <laughs> Oscars, right? Yes. Okay. Can you believe it? Mm -mm. Oh, my gosh. When um, St. Marie, uh, Eve? E yes. Yeah, Eve St. Marie, right? Came yes, out and she, and she looked, right? Wasn't it her? Eve? I believe so. Yeah, she looks so beautiful as a presenter, and she said that oh, yeah. she is like older than the Oscar. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, right? Yes. Oh, amazing. Um, not Eve. Uh, what's um, her, what is her name? Uh, oh my God, is she, is she the same one that wore the the same dress from fifty? No, that's Rita Marino. Rita Marino. Okay. She yes. wore the same Which, dress that she won in 50, in 1962. Something. Yes, for West Side so Story. I yes. She looks incredible. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Somebody and so else much who fun. stole the show, in my opinion. But I'm just I'm in love with her. Jane Fonda. That woman goes oh. on Does and on. Does she and on. look like amazing? I was. She has such poise. Oh my right? gosh. And, and her hair looked fabulous. Her. You know, whatever yeah. she's done right. cosmetically was done the right way. That's right. She looked she's stunning. amazing in that dress. That, she was fabulous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, she's uh, probably one of my all time favorites from last night. I just, I love the way she carries herself, right? Which it, you would probably agree. Like, um, it, sometimes it's not just about the way the dress is designed, it's about how the woman carries oh, herself. Oh, totally. To to like, even when you go work out, that's it. what your trainer will always say posture, posture, posture. posture. It's like, well, then why am I spending $125 <laughs> yeah. to get on this stupid treadmill if all I have to do is right. sit up straight? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I love so funny. It. Right? So we have some photos, right? Yes. You have some things that you want to showcase yes. and what Let's our Let's talk about and some of these and... ladies and men on the yes. red carpet. Let's do it. Okay. So who do we have first? Okay. Oh, Jennifer Lawrence. God, she's so tall. I love her. <laughs> I know. Isn't she fabulous? She this dress is by Dior. I, I just think it is absolutely amazing. I think that she also was able to make a statement on the red carpet. Dior is one of the fashion houses, the major fashion houses that is led by a woman. Okay. And that's very rare. They're usually mm -hmm. led by men. Yeah, men. And I think by the fact that she was wearing Dior and it, it's led by a woman, I think she, and she just looked like she was having fun. She did. Because you know, there's rumored mm -hmm. that she's going to take like a year or so off because she's, she's been, back to back, right? oh, and she's just like, I need to get my mind back together. Can you imagine playing all those characters back to, I bet no, you I wake up like, now who am I? Who am I <laughs> you know what I mean? Right? And she's what, 24 or something yeah. like, I mean, it's like, yeah, but I thought she looked gorgeous she on the did. red carpet. She she's definitely good. one of my favorites. And yeah. next to uh, Jodie Foster, uh, you know, there were the memes this oh. morning about oh. Jodie Foster's <laughs> yes. like this big. No. She's but that told girl. me when Jodie Foster came out last night, I was like, oh my gosh, she's always in heels. Yeah. Because she doesn't look that small before. But I love the little Meryl Streep <laughs> bit that they that, play because Jennifer Lawrence is like, what happened to you? And Jodie Foster was like, Meryl. Meryl. <laughs> Everything at the end of the day goes yeah. back to Meryl. So, I know. And Jennifer Lawrence is like, well, you know, she tried to trip me once. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was so funny. I loved it. Oh my I God. loved it. <laughs> That's so great. Oh, there she is. Rita Marino. Look oh, at her. I mean, she stunning. looks amazing, too, right? Oh. So when she won in 1962 Best Supporting Actress for West Side Story, that is actually the dress she wore. We actually she, have a picture of it. Oh, yeah, isn't that incredible? Side side. Yes, look, at look at that. Wow. I mean, it's just like, fat. look yes. how fabulous she looks. She is so fun. They actually had a shot of her guzzling a yes. glass of champagne before and her she went out. Entrance, she was like dancing yeah. and everything. I was like, you go. She is she so great. great. I yes. love her. That She's is... fabulous. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh poor Hi, poor oh. thing. I just, I just, I mean, it's got chains on it, it's got sequins, it's the lilac. I, I don't know, it's just, it's just too much. And what is, it's Gucci. And what is ironic about this is her billionaire husband oversees the Gucci brand. Oh, so I am wow. sure that someone's getting called into the <laughs> office today to talk about this over embellished dress. The bottom part of it, when you look at that bottom part, mm -hmm. it looks like when I would go to my grandmother's house, that little thing that was over the toilet paper. Right. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Yeah. That, yeah. That's what it looked like, that little, it's just like, I, it do was you, too much. Do you think that it's, I don't know a lot about fashion, so I'll just give that caveat, but it, it made her look, because um, she's fairly short, um, so maybe there was so much going on. It made her look so thick much, yeah. on the top, which right. is, she's and not. She's a gorgeous tiny. woman. Plus, she had, her makeup was pretty severe, and her hair pulled back, made the yeah. whole thing, it just it didn't, didn't work, and she's gorgeous. Yeah, she is. I mean, she's fabulous. Beautiful. Yeah. And it's, do you think she chose that dress? Because don't they get oh, several oh, to choose like, from? So, like, well, I'm, like, I'm, I'm sure she, she could open up the closet and she probably has 10 million dresses. To oh, choose you know. From. But she it, can open up the wholesale, you yeah, know, exactly. the, the showroom. <laughs> And there, yeah. I bet there were like 20 Gucci ones, and they he also uh, oversees Louis Vuitton, so I'm sure she had an array of things wow. to, I know, and you know, stylists, when you talk to the stylists sometimes, and these designers, mm -hmm. they say that, you know, they try to sometimes take them in a different direction, yeah. but sometimes these actresses are strong, and they're like, I want to wear this, okay. and they're like, that might be a great dress for a a party, but it's not going to read red well on the red you carpet. Know how they prevent celebrities from wearing the same dress? Oh, they like, well, what'll happen is most of these come right off the spring runways. Mm -hmm. Like Fashion Week just happened so in New York, Milan. One. Yeah, and they'll send it to them, and they're very good about that. They won't send it to other people. Okay. You know, there now that doesn't. There was a second where I thought Meryl Streep was wearing the same dress as, um, um, Jan. Oh, Alice and Jan. Alice and Jan. Yeah. 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 But it's like, and it also, but right. what happens, so and it's happened a couple of times in the Oscars, it doesn't prevent somebody, if, it, if it's not from the recent runway, mm -hmm. somebody else could buy it someplace, I mean, literally buy it. Okay. You know, yeah. maybe like a B actress or a C actress. And if mm -hmm. you're like a A actress and so and so shows up, you're like, mm -hmm. not happy. That makes me, <laughs> I actually want to ask a question about this that you would probably know is, so... I'm assuming, right, um, because of who they are, the celebrity, and because of the amount of people that watch the Oscars, 
M the vast majority of these of the women wearing these clothes do not purchase them, correct? It, it's, oh, it's a, no. It's kind uh, of a loan. No, yeah, totally they, a loan. Does the designer expect the dress back once they... Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. A lot of them will say keep it. Okay. But a lot of them will return it because they can never wear it again. Right. I mean, it's been seen. A it's times. like, But the, the red carpet at the Oscars is the highest profile for any designer. Okay. Because they'll, I mean, people will like buy those dresses. They'll start like, like you could see some of those dresses now in Neiman's or in Gucci or whatever, and people like, they're usually gone the day after. Oh my goodness. Really? Yeah, I, I mean, it's like, that. yeah, because some of these, but some of these dress, these dresses are like 20, $25,000 dresses. Jeez. Yeah, these aren't. You can get a like, couple, Susan. Right. <laughs> A week, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but it's such a showcase for a designer if they hit it right. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like like Gucci. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love him. He's oh, so fabulous, amazing. Daniel Kaluuya. I think he's like amazing. I love that movie. Get, Get out, out as I still well. Seen it. I still and he seen may it. not have won the gold, but I think this Bruno Cuccinelli. Uh, outfit is, I think it's fabulous. It's velvet. I love the color. He carried it well and it stood out in a sea of basic tuxedos. It really like yes. stood out. And like we talked about earlier, he was able to carry it. He carried it so well. Because not everyone could carry. No, that no, but it was fabulous on him. I saw He's, a lot of velvet tuxedos. Yeah, yeah, and velvet and dresses yes. as well. Yeah, yeah, because you know in LA it's a little bit cooler. Okay, so, I was wondering about that. Yeah, like, it could have been be like so hot. Yeah, seventies like, or so okay. maybe. Yeah, but it looked fantastic. I loved it on Very him. Very nice. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Adam Rippon. I don't know. I mean, I bet he's getting a little. Uh, they probably got him last night on the red carpet. A couple of hate texts from Johnny Weir. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, do not. Do, in, you're in my. You're, you're in, in my, my space. space. Yeah. Like, yeah. stop. This is by Jeremy Scott from Machino, and he does. This is totally Jeremy Scott's yeah. style. You know, he does a lot of Miley Cyrus stuff yeah. and all that. I don't. It, it got mixed reviews. I think maybe if it was the Grammys or the MTV Awards or something, but for the Oscars, his first outing on the red carpet, I think that maybe it was just a bit. Much. Don't you think that this is something we would expect from him, though? He's yep. obviously yep. someone who likes to make statements. Oh, totally. And, you know, in, from a PR perspective, right, there are times when I tell my client, it's go time, right? Yep. It is yep. go time. And this is your one opportunity. And look what we're talking about. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, and we're here yeah. talking about I liked about it. Yeah, I thought he made a it's, statement. It's him. Yeah. He's but, very unapologetic in oh, just about everything that he does. Totally. Totally. Uh, uh, and everything on Twitter was like, oh my gosh, that's fabulous. You think Mike? Pence picked it out for him. I mean, everybody, I was like, oh no, here we go. Yes, he probably okay. did. No. <laughs> I love, I it. love it. Oh, and Allison yeah. Janney, I love her. Oh my gosh, Reem Ackerman, this red dress with the matching clutch. Look at the sleeve, that is so dramatic. Oh, this looks absolutely amazing on her. And also, if you'll notice, her ring and her diamond choker that is 55 carats of diamonds oh my 55 goodness. carats of diamonds four million dollars you know and all these women have are surrounded by bodyguards she probably had like three that kind of follow behind you don't see them but they're always there okay. because after that one year it was probably about six or seven years ago when sharon stone <clears throat> she lost that diamond bracelet Oh, no. Well, Don't and that. Oh, my God. They probably, probably can't go to the bodyguards. Um, yeah. yeah. They probably can't even go to the bathroom. <laughs> no. Themselves, right? Because, I mean, if somebody could... Yeah. Take it. Did they? I wonder if like they don't even go home. Right? I'm sure that after no, oh God, they literally go to a room or something and they give all the jewelry. Usually, back. when the ceremony's over, they usually don't even let them wear them to the parties. Oh, okay. Because that's where it could fall off, fall slip off, off right. go in their purse. Right, and like they really can't writer. control the situation. <laughs> so yeah, but gosh, she looked gorgeous. Yes. I have to say, she is one of my favorite actresses. I've followed her ever since The West Wing. You know, like a, a decade yes. or so ago. There is. She has a very similar form to you, Susan. She's incredibly uh -huh. tall and um, just, you know, beautifully cut. And there's nothing I've ever seen her in this. She doesn't right. look good. And some people on Twitter were, because I like to follow the Twitter feed as well, but some people were like, oh my gosh, she's won again. But people, she has won the Emmy seven times, but she's never won an, an Oscar. Oscar. Oh, okay. That's what So people were like, no, she's never won an Oscar. It's not again. This is her first time. Right. I mean, I th and I think it's just so amazing because her friend wrote, I, Tanya, and wrote that part specifically for her. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and, that's, oh, wow. and, and he was there with her last night, and she's like, this journey that we've been on since September to now, she goes, I'm really gonna crash tomorrow. But she said, thankfully, 
I have to be at, at 10 o'clock on the set of Mom, you know, her TV yeah, show. Yeah. And she said, I'm so glad to be able to surround it by those people because this is going to be like, oh my gosh, this has been my life since September. All Winning everything, going to all these openings, all these premieres, and now it's like, boom, gone, we're done. God, I know, she's amazing. Great, though, too. Oh, yeah. I, love, I, did I did it all myself. I love that. Wasn't that great? <laughs> and her look. Yeah. It was yeah, no, she is like, so. Precious. all of her speeches are always fabulous. Yeah, she are. is great. And she is very much uh, a Hollywood girl. She, she is. networks a lot in Hollywood. She lives in Los Angeles. Everybody thought, well, maybe Lori Metcalf from Lady Bird might contend with her. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Lori Metcalf really doesn't play the Hollywood game. Nope. She's an incredible actress, but she lives in New York. So she's not all in that circle. Right. But she is amazing in Lady Bird. She's yeah. really, really I good. Need to watch that. Yeah. I know. So both of us are like, we need to watch that. I know. Every we movie. We haven't had like, a chance to see the movies. Nope. We've been, yeah. None of them. I haven't seen Get Out. I haven't seen so I've seen good. Get Out. That was good. God, that was so good. Yeah. Yeah. So now Twist. there'll be a little surge for all these movies yeah. now, and then okay. you'll probably be able to mm -hmm. watch them at home. Okay. It was interesting. We were talking about this before the show, though. When you read the descriptions of the movies, you're like, what? It doesn't sound that good, but you have to watch it because oh my gosh. it's amazing. Like when I read the description yes. of um, The Shape of Water, I was uh -huh. like, oh, I'm, not, really? I'm yeah. not so much into <laughs> sci-fi. I don't want to like a war thing. And blah, but yeah. Oh my gosh, right. that is like a must see movie. It's amazing. It was, it's um, if I'm not mistaken, it was directed by the same gentleman who directed the other movie that was yeah, the, the Pan's Pan, Labyrinth. Pan's Labyrinth. Pan, oh, yeah, Pan's Labyrinth, yeah. right? Which was just, because it, it's written with so much subtext, right? Like there's yep. the superficiality of yep. it, the beautiful aesthetics and all that, mm -hmm. but it's it's really contextual as far as like war and like what people oh, are going totally. through. Oh, totally. And it just um, keeps you like engaged because it, cause it keeps changing throughout the, it's really an amazing, we'll sure. it's, it's a beautifully done film. Yeah, Good. it's incredible. I was like all about three billboards, which was mm. amazing. But, and then I was like, it's gonna win, it's gonna win. It's so fabulous because it's, it's incredible. But then when I watched Shape of Water, I was like, um, uh. I have to change my vote. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think we have another. Yes. Oh my gosh, here we are. Okay, now <laughs> let's talk about these three lovely ladies. Now, these are all done by Christian Seriano. Okay. You remember the Project Runway yes. fame? And yes. I absolutely adore him, he's fabulous. But the, he really had three strong misses. Kelly Ripa, I mean, what? It looks like all night long on the red carpet, it looked like she was dragging a clown behind her. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm like, I'm just, and, and plus, that she is so petite. That dress is yeah. so voluminous. It just, over. oh, it just totally took her over. And then we've got Lindsey Vaughn there in the middle. And again, a beautiful girl. But if you look at this dress, it's like you took showgirl bondage and goth and threw it in a blender and this came out right. you know what and she had uh, an issue she got one of the sleeves caught in the hotel before she left oh, no. so literally 10 minutes before she was onto the red carpet they cut the sleeve off on both sides and that part was already on there the overhang the cap sleeve was already on there but they cut that off oh yeah i mean that ass. happened like so they said she handled it really well i, I wonder how christian handled as these gay guys oh god you sleeve. Yeah. <laughs> yeah when she returns the dress is gonna be like the sleeves yeah i gotta have those back too <laughs> and then whoopi goldberg whoopi never wears a dress we'll give her kudos for that but that and you know and garden florals was very big on the couture runway in spring but this this floral thing but like made my allergies flare up. I mean, I'm just I like, oh. recognize her. I know. It's not her personality and who uh -uh. And she, I mean, she lifted it up and underneath she had on combat boots. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> the sunglasses perfect. are fabulous on yeah. her, but the dress, mm -mm, not so much. No, it did not right. work. Did not work. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I loved it. Uh, there, oh, Taraji B. Henson. This is also Christian Sir Siriano, right? Uh, no, Vera Wang. Vera Wang. Okay. Vera Wang. And I mean, I just, again, I, I, I don't think maybe the time was right for this type of dress at the Oscars. Right. With all that's happened with women's issues over the past, yeah. you know, I mean, maybe just not the time. And boy, she, she like, you can kind of see, well, on this one, she looks at like it has a little bit covered up. When she first hit the red carpet, you could literally see through the entire top of the oh, dress. Oh and it was just like, whoa. And then I was like, ooh, I, it was... <laughs> It, it was, was a, a lot, was and too then much. she also kind of dissed Ryan Seacrest 
on the red carpet too because you know it was very controversial whether right. people were going to talk to him 21 people ended up going and talking to him the biggest names that talked to him were taraji mary j blige and allison janney and after that pretty much he got no one else wow. Wow. but you know she she said to him on the red carpet they were talking, you go how are you and and she made a point of saying well you know what you know uh, it, it's like Things always happen to people and it always comes full circle and those that need to be taken care of will be taken care of and kind of like, like, like I know what you did, right. you know, with wow. the whole sexual. Yeah. And then she went to talk to ABC next mm -hmm. and, the, and the reporter said, how are you? And she goes, fine now that I'm over here with you. I know, I thought, ooh. I know, it was kind of like, whoa. And, you know, she's married Jay Blige's best friend, so that's oh, why okay. she was there to introduce the song. Mm -hmm. and, and I love her, but, boy, she was pulling the cookie from Empire last <laughs> night. She was, like, wearing that dress, and she was going on the red carpet telling everybody off. We were like, go, girl. <laughs> you think somebody got fired for that outfit? Ooh, I don't know. It was just, it was, I mean, it, Vera Wang is, it kind of shocked me that it was Vera Wang yeah. as well, you know? Yeah. And she said literally she got that dress the night before. They did a few alterations on it and she was good to go. Well, or, or not so good to go. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't finish forgot, it in a couple yeah, places. Yeah, right. <laughs> I loved it. Oh, Margot oh, Robbie, I gosh, love her, love amazing. her, love her. In Chanel by Carl Lagerfeld. I loved the whole garland on the um, right up on the top, the gar gar garland collar. I love the beading on it. If you saw this dress up close, it's unbelievable. There is like a 3D crystal bodice on there that's like absolutely oh fabulous. Goodness, and beautiful. very much a trend on the red carpet last night was white and nude. Mm -hmm. I mean, we saw more nude on the red carpet than you would see in the photo folder on Kim Kardashian's <laughs> iPhone. <laughs> but she That's looked great. fabulous. And she brought her mother from Australia. Oh, it was just, I love her. I, I uh, she was. Think she, the ladies and men were wearing white as a political statement or just? I think maybe some were, okay. you know what I mean? Because remember they did the white roses at the BAFTA. Correct. You know, yeah. they did the black at the Golden Globes and they mm -hmm. tried, the Oscars really encouraged people to stay away from Politics. politics. They mm -hmm. said that they were going to honor it, which they did right. in the ceremony. And I thought Ashley Judd was amazing when she spoke. Cause, you know, she was one of the people that now we know was, you know, blacklisted by Harvey Weinstein right. now that right. all this has That's come right. out. And so, but I think she was so elegant in the way that she said it. I thought Frances McDormand amazing. at the end when she asked all the women in the audience to stand up. Yes. You know, and that, then I think she also, <clears throat> excuse me, in her speech, uh, she ended with something that was like um, uh, inclusion writer. And from what I took was that I'm not signing on to the movie unless it's an incredible, uh, you know, because it's That's called exactly a That's exactly what it means. So the I, audience doesn't know yeah. a writer is basically Everybody, it was one of the most tweeted things an inclusion <clears throat> writer is that you can put a clause in your contract mm -hmm. that stipulates there must be diversity. Yeah. And that was... that's what she was trying to, everybody just put it in there and it'll happen if y'all will put it in there. But I thought, but now Frances McDermott, she's not a big fashionista. No, no. <laughs> no. But I love her so much. And she is amazing in that movie. I've loved her ever since Fargo. You know, I mean, she was so good in that, yeah. which she won an Oscar for as well. But I think yeah. she's like so fabulous. Uh, yeah, but and she made every, she asked all the women to stand up, which I thought was very nice. Yes. And the, she looked, Meryl Street was sitting on the front row. If you row. do it, Meryl, everybody, yeah, everybody will do it. it. Meryl was like, I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that I discovered last night during the show, too, that I absolutely loved was the hot dog machine oh. that you can blow hot dogs out. So <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, I want one of those. Get you one. Wasn't that fabulous? I love, can you imagine the people in that theater when all they of them walk in? nuts. I, I thought that whole that. bit was so, know. you know, because it, can you imagine like with all of these like celebrities walking into a movie theater where you're, you know, oh, you're okay. seeing a preview. You're watching A Wrinkle in Time. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. But I love the way Jimmy Kimmel said when he first walked in, he was like, like, whoa, <laughs> it smells like weed in here. He mentioned it a couple of times. They're like, I bet you guys want some hot dogs. I know. It was so funny, but all in all, I thought it was a great show. I think that they, I love the way they started with Helen Mirren and the jet ski, and I love the way they came full circle yes. and closed it out that way. I just thought it, it was respectful for what it needed to be this Kimmel, year. Kimmel did a great job. Yeah, yeah I, I love really Jimmy Kimmel. He's I just so he amazing. Is so, and he kept on with his, um, you know, he has that ongoing, like, 
uh, rivalry. They're really good friends in real life. But um, with Matt, uh, Matt Damon. Damon. Yes, I uh, love that. So I, I love, love that bit. <laughs> he just kept going and going. Yeah. I know. He was so good. Okay, before we leave, I have to know your favorite, uh, your best moment and the most awkward moment of the night. Okay, let's see. Probably the best moment was, for me, was when um, Tiffany Haddish and Maya Rudolph came oh, out and presented. Hilarious. That was like so fresh and it, and I love and I love that Tiffany Haddish had on that white Alexander McQueen dress. Yes. And if you'll remember, she wore that on Saturday Night Live. And when she to, when she hosted and she goes, I know some of you say you've seen this dress before. <laughs> You're gonna see it a lot. This dress, <laughs> this dress cost me over four thousand dollars, and there she came out the Oscars wearing it again. I thought, good for you. She's and, taking it on tour. I know. Yeah. And then my Rudolph, you know, when they had their shoes off, yeah. and, and so Tiffany Haddish was like, "Oh my gosh, I got blisters on my feet." And my Rudolph was like, and she's holding it. She goes, um, "My little toe <laughs> fell off." <laughs> that was. That was I just thought that that was like fabulous. Oh, I loved it. Now my most awkward moment i would i don't know i think the taraji b hints stuff just it yeah, just yeah. kind of like it didn't it was feel. it was it, it just it was too much and yeah. i love her i think she's fabulous but it just didn't feel right yeah. you know i think it was too much for this year but i, I love I her agree. though i love I think her i can agree for sure Unfortunately, Steve, we are out of time. We can Why? Finish. Now, we're going to finish this bottle, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> we're not going to do it on air. Um, but thank you so much for being here. Oh, gosh, I loved <clears throat> it. I loved it. Your thank expertise you is greatly appreciated, and uh, we hope to have you back yes. on the show. Maybe, yes. Maybe this will be like a, a every single... Uh, every week? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Steve's time. Maybe Hashtag. this will be like every single week. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll certainly post some more of Steve's uh, favorites and best ofs uh, on our website. So stay tuned uh, for that. And I guess until next Monday, we will bid you a wonderful week. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.